Every time I've gotten, um, uh, you know, criticism or advice or any kind of feedback that was negative, like I think I, my initial instinct almost always is to really consider it. What is the worst advice you've ever received? Oh no. Uh, <laughs> the worst advice I've ever received? Gosh, the stuff that's coming to mind is all the little kind of microaggressions that I've experienced as being like, in being a female writer and director, which is, you shouldn't take up so much space or you shouldn't be so loud. I just feel like I, I tend to self-edit as a woman anyway. Usually I am thinking, does my hair look okay? Is what I just said impolite? Should I make my needs known a little bit louder? I did get a lot of feedback when I was younger that I should be quieter and smaller <laughs> and a little bit more well-behaved and I'm kind of glad that I didn't end up taking that advice. And now as I've gotten older and I have more experience, I realize, oh, no one's actually paying that much attention to me. <laughs> like, of course, you don't want to be rude to people or you don't want to come off in a particular way that you don't mean, so I try to say what I mean as often as I can. but. But I don't feel that same kind of pressure to self-edit or to appear as someone I'm not. A lot of people will say, oh, I got that advice, and I said, to hell with them. <laughs> but that's <laughs> no, not really how you thought. felt. No, I really, every time I've gotten, um, uh, you know, criticism or advice or any kind of feedback that was negative, like, I think I, my, my initial instinct almost always is to really consider it. Even if I look like I'm not considering it, even if I'm having an air of playing being cool. very confident and playing it cool. You know, in my 20s, I would kind of very much take it personally and really take it to heart and think, oh, there's something wrong with the way that I am naturally. What my identity is and who I am now in my career, I worked really hard to get here, so I don't really need to like ever tear myself down to build myself up back up again. That being said, I do think that criticism and feedback usually are um, helpful things to hear, even if you disagree with them. So what would you say to your 20-year-old self? Oh, I to 20-year-old Leslie, I'd say, calm down. <laughs> you have plenty of time. I would say when people try to edit who you are, just decide whether or not that's something you agree with before you start implementing it. And really ask yourself, do I agree with that statement? Do I think that statement is the truth? And if it's the truth for me. And I think she would take that advice, to be honest. I think she'd be open to hearing that.